In this video, I'm going to talk about reset functionality for a Power Platform environment. Now, what is the reset functionality? Now, reset functionality is applicable only to Power Platform environment. Resetting means you are putting the Power Platform environment into the factory reset state. So reset can only be performed for environment of type developer or sandbox. Now, what the reset action does so reset actions when you run the reset action against a specific environment it deletes all the environment data the resources it has if it has any backups stored for that environment any resources within the environment like canvas apps flows custom connectors connections and there are many other things which gets deleted so that means the environment will be in a pristine condition as if the environment is provisioned newly and that's why i say it is it will be in kind of a factory uh, reset state now why would you like to reset an environment what are the use cases for resetting an environment so take for example if you're creating a new project if you're already done with the old project and if you want to start a new project and if you do not have any other environment to take care of that new project you can reset the current environment which was used for old project and you can create a new project within that environment you can free of storage space so what happens when you reset an environment all the resources will get moved into uh, recycle bin now the recycle bin we can't access it okay so what it does is it gives you an immediate storage space reclamation so you can free up the storage space uh, you can also remove an environment containing personal data. So if you receive an inquiry about uh, some personal data being stored as a part of the development process or development activity or some developer might have accidentally stored the personal data in your dev environment, then you can remove that environment completely so that the environment is pristine and clear and you are pretty much sure that uh, any action further performed on that environment will not have the personal data stored for that particular user. Now, it's kind of a factory reset for an environment I mentioned to you that this will bring that environment into that zero state whereby the environment is very fresh and the, as if the environment was provisioned just now. Now, other options are like when you want to reprovision, when you want to repurpose, when you want to reuse existing environment, then resetting environment is a good choice. Also, sometimes uh, your power platform environment will grow leaps and bounds and you may not even know how to take care of your popular environment because now it has grown beyond your capacity and it's a good uh, kind of a governance exercise for you to tidy up your power platform environment and in that case you can reset the environment which are not used now the process to reset an environment is you select an environment there is a reset option on the top menu bar as well as in the floating menu and you can delete those environments now, while deleting an environment, it will ask you something, the URL which you want to be uh, uh, looked into, any currency uh, which you want the new environment to contain. So you can even change the currency on the fly while resetting an environment. So take, for example, if you have a, an environment in, say, SGD currency and you want to, uh, once you reset it, you want to restore back to the say, USD currency, then you can still do that. As you see in the message box, it says this will permanently delete component, existing environment, data, resources, backups, canvas apps, flows, custom connectors, custom connections. So all this thing will get removed and erased. Now let's jump into the demo. So this is the Power Platform environment. A while back, what I did is like I delete, I, I made a reset on Patty's environment, Patty Fernandez. Okay, so let's see the state. Now, in order to see the state of the reset environment, what you can do, you can select an environment and go into the history. Now, once you are in the history, you will see that this reset process just like say started like five or 10 minutes back and now it has almost completed. It's completed as you can see from the status over here. So at any point of time, if you want to see what the environment has uh, gone through this entire process you can see this environment was created it was edited and then it was resetted so you can see all the historical traces within power platform environment okay what happens when you reset an environment so what you can do is you can go into any of the environments so take for example if i'm going to say edit dev environment now here 
what I can do, I can select this option, I can reset from here, or I can reset from the top. So if I click on reset, then it will give me an option like you can specify the name of the environment, you can specify the purpose, you can specify the language, you can specify the organization URL, uh, and then currency as well. Now I won't make any change, I'll just click on reset. Now once you reset the environment, it says that this will have some impact. Uh, you will lose all the data within your environment. Are you okay with it? If you're okay with it, then you can go ahead and click on confirm. And now the reset process has started. It will go through four stages of resetting process. So one is uh, it validates, it prepares, it runs, and then finally it finalizes. So you can view the status by clicking on check status. This environment reset will take some time and that's the reason I have shown you in one example that uh, of Patty's environment where I have resetted it like 10, 15 minutes back. And that's how the state will look like. So now uh, this will take some time. If I again navigate to the Power Platform environment and show you the Patty's environment, which I resetted like 15 minutes back here, yeah. This one, this one is a very clean slate. And here, this is like, it's. you will see a message. It says environment was reset just like some couple of minutes back, as you see over here, right? So this is how the environment will get uh, resetted. And also you can see the trace from here as well. You can see the recent operation. The recent operation was a reset, when it started, when it ended, who initiated it, and what is the success state of that. And when you click on full history, you get the a tree view kind of a status whereby you can uh, see uh, how this environment was resetted. So that's it folks. This is how you basically uh, reset an environment if you do not want that environment for any specific reason or if you want to clean up the space within your Power Platform tenant. Thanks for watching.